the American people ought to rise with fury. When I saw those images, I was heartbroken. But my stomach churned with fury that nothing has changed since Newtown and Congress has been complicit. And the American people should feel that same anger. If the President of the United States really feels that this act of unspeakable cruelty and cowardice was pure evil, he will help lead this effort. And colleagues on both sides of the aisle will join in hearing the voices and faces of the American people, some of them who perished in Las Vegas last night. And out of respect for them, hand-wringing, soul-searching, time's passed. We need action now. For me and a lot of people in Connecticut, these gut-wrenching images bring back that day, that afternoon in Newtown of unspeakable horror when we felt such horror and grief. Uh, for me and so many others in Connecticut, that day changed our lives. And these images of unspeakable terror in Las Vegas bring back those memories in a very heartbreaking, gut-wrenching way, but at the same time, the hope that we had then that something would be done, hopes that were dashed. And as unspeakably cruel as Newtown was, equally cruel and complicit is the failure of Congress to act.